everyone. So today I'm going to do a unboxing for the Magic of Eyes 2020 Astrological Planner. I only have this one and I showed it in a recent video, this six month planner. But now I have the whole um, like year planner and I'm going to show you the size of that right now. So this is the whole year planner. You can see it better probably this way right now. And this is the half size for 2019. So that's that's the general difference between the sizes. And I'm going to actually flip through this. As you can tell, it still has its plastic, so I have not opened it at all. But also in this box, they gave um, Magic of Ice sticker, and it's holographic, and it's really pretty. Um, I need to figure out where I want to put this. I do want to use this somewhere because it's really pretty. Oh, if you can just see first there. Can't see it that well because of the plastic. The first thing I want to say is that this feels so good. Um, it's a vegan leather, but it feels like suede. I don't know. It feels amazing. I really love it. So I'm just going to kind of do a little overview of it. So this astrological planner has the moon phases, optimal time life guide, menstrual moon tracker, monthly moons and intentions, uh, astro reference guide, and weekly planner. So I'm going to be using this alongside my power sheets. My power sheets is like month goal planning and quarter and year goal planning this is going to have my actual like weekly schedule in it this is the first page it's really really nice kind of like i'm not sure what it is but it's pretty <laughs> kind of looks like craters kind of looks like water it's, looks really pretty oh i like this part i don't think that's in my other one i actually don't know because i don't remember this so you could put your name your sun sign your moon sign and your rising sign i'm a virgo <laughs> Um, with a Leo moon and a Cancer rising. Dream wide awake. That's really cute. I'm sorry if you hear my fan behind me. It's kind of warm in here. So, fan's going. Um, this is really pretty. I believe this is in my smaller one. So, they have a whole page of how to use the planner. Um, of how to use all the different features and what's included and, you know, the different parts of it. I was going to put this in one of my journals. I was going to draw a circle and do all of my birth chart, but now I have somewhere to do it. I didn't know it came with this for some reason. I don't know a lot of things this came with, honestly. So now I got to do it here so that I save space in my journal. And yeah, let's just kind of go through it a little bit. So it has the elements, the fire days versus earth versus air versus water days. It tells you how it kind of goes through the signs. So it kind of goes more into, I'm going to have to basically study this too because there's a lot of information, but, oh, I really like this. In the little book, it has it. So it kind of, let's see if I can pull one up real quick. So it says power on here. And power on, you just go here and energy and passion, charge force with movement, warrior your life, get things done, good for the body and movement, check your ego and independence. Um, can be challenging for anger management, butting heads, intensity, impatience, and fiery frustration. So they have certain days that have these little cues. They have goals, stroke of genius, love it up, you know, all these things and what they correspond to. I've been kind of doing that in my little one, but not as much. Kind of really want to kind of harness that a little more. Yeah, just kind of going with the flow of each day. This planner does come with two versions. It has the northern hemisphere and a southern hemisphere. And for the northern, it's PST, and for the southern, it's ASEST. And but all the times in this planner are PST, which works for me perfectly because I'm in Los Angeles. I am in the PST time zone, so it helps me a lot. It has general dates, so it has the typical um, U.S. and Canadian holidays. I'm guessing, but it also has a spring equinox, fall equinox, winter solstice. Summer solstice has all of those dates that I kind of want to be mindful of this year as well. And, you know, all the rest of the normal holidays. This gives you a 2020 and 2021 calendar. And they give you an entire reference guide for all of the astrological signs. And it has them all with their houses and the planets and the notes. So I constantly am looking this up. So I'm glad I have it in a bigger one now because the little one's kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of small. <laughs> has the aspects and the elements and the modes and then other symbols like retrograde 
it's funny because right now we're in a mercury retrograde and I know some people are feeling it. I'm honestly not feeling it that much, but probably because what I'm doing this time around. But every planet goes into a retrograde. It's not just mercury. It's just mercury is the one that tends to affect a lot of people or they feel like it does. Every planet goes into a retrograde. Just not as often. I think Mercury is the one that goes most often. So you have the planets. Now it doesn't have all of the planets. Yeah. Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto are not listed as they are not modern planets. Um, they are modern planets, sorry. Discovered in last year. And so that's the only thing I wish they included because I really do like Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. Pluto is one of my ruling planets. So it would be nice if that was in there, but I understand everybody kind of does it differently. Thinking maybe I'll probably, because I don't need this section over. I'll read this over and over again, and then I will attach a part that will include Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto here. So this is the 2020 planetary movements and retrogrades. So it has when they all kind of move, I believe. Let me see. Zodiac life cycle it has all of this information down here. So I'm gonna kind of learn how what this means and how what what all this means because I actually don't know, <laughs> but I actually do want to know. Um, now they have the moon phases, and this is what I'm currently been pretty good at I've been even looking outside and seeing where the moon is right now we're coming up to the full moon I've noticed some track it with this being the the empty one being the full moon and then the dark one being the new moon but this one is actually the opposite so I just have to rearrange my brain a little bit because <laughs> some of the ones I was looking at is the opposite so menstrual cycles in the moon this is the other thing I kind of wanted to track along with the moon cycle um because Typically, a lot of women will sink either one way or the other, either on the full moon or on the new moon to start their cycle. And I've been wanting to track that as well. So I'm glad it gives all of this stuff here and it even has the phases of the menstrual cycle. So, for example, day one through seven is reflective. Day seven through 14 is dynamic. And that, yeah, that round there it hits the full moon if your cycle is going from the new moon to, you know, that way, uh, and then it becomes the full moon, then expressive, then creative, and then back down to reflective, and I kind of want to plan my months like that, so I'm harnessing the energy that I need to harness, instead of trying to, like, push myself through something that I should be, I should slow a little down, if that makes sense. Because I find that when you're honoring your body and you're listening to your body, um, regardless of who you are, you're going to get m a lot more things done more efficiently if you actually listen to your body and don't push yourself too far. Now, there's a healthy level of push people can do, especially if you're having maybe a hard day or a hard few weeks. You can push a little bit, but if you need to slow down, slow down. <laughs> this hustle society is kind of getting a little ridiculous. That's what I'm going to say about that. So it gives you the entire 2020 moon phases and the signs that they're in. So if you don't know what the signs are, you're going to have to look it up. And it has the entire month on both pages. Kind of goes through the month that way. It has all the new and full moon dates in one places, eclipse, and retrograde. So uh, Mercury will go into retrograde three times. And the other ones will go about one time, except Uranus will go twice. Yeah. This is going to be interesting for me because I want to find a balance that I'm going to be using this and my power sheets very, very closely together. Um, so while I'm doing my 2020 power sheets, I'm also be go going to have this. That's why I've been holding off working on them because I wanted this as well. So, you know, like what are the f five more most important intentions for this year? I don't think there's a question like that in the power sheets. I can't remember right now, um, but I want to make sure they are pretty mirrored to each other. So I'm going to be going through this and my power sheets maybe today or tomorrow and seeing what line up and what's extra between them. And then 
let me see i think they break this up which i really do like um because i was <laughs> i was gonna do something like this in one of my journals so now i don't have to um they break up their eight areas of life with spiritual mental work love money social physical and inspiration and then you have full pages for this afterwards to write everything down so you get about a two-page spread for each of those areas and what you would like and actionable steps this is the start of one of the months this is january this is typically how they do start off they have they have the signs the moon the themes of the month i really like working with these like intentions and themes and important astrological transits and then they have a month calendar which i am not sure if i'm going to be using this month calendar too much i might but because it has so much stuff going on in the boxes there's not much space to write at least for me because i have really bad writing <laughs> um but I do like how it has all of that. So I might use this in conjunction with my power sheets ones because that one does have a month and it's more empty with all of these little things in mind like um, Diamond Mind, Stroke of Genius, anytime there's a full moon or the quarters or the new moon. So this helps me because I get to see it all kind of in one spread. And then every time, every month you do goals and intentions. And it's kind of what I do in my power sheets, but I also want to have it in here. Uh, because this one I'm probably going to be touching more throughout my month than my power sheets. My power sheets I kind of touch more or less every day just for the tending list, um, for the habits. Uh, but this is going to be the one that I'm pretty much going to be writing in quite a bit more often. And then weekly goals and actionable steps. So it's always about breaking it down to actionable steps to make sure that you can do it. Don't just have this giant goal and then you're stuck and don't know where to go. If you need help with goal planning, let me know. I really like helping people figure out their goals and how their steps would look like and help them break it down to a way that it makes sense to you. So this is the weekly spread. It goes from Monday to Sunday at the bottom and it still has all of the symbols on the side of it so you don't have to keep flipping back and forth if you don't want to which I do like because I hate flipping a million times like what's it what was it what was it <laughs> it's horrible um you can set a weekly intention which I do plan to set and then let me go through they have new moon and this they have at the at the end of the month um so it's new moon, new moon and capricorn and you can set your intentions and new moons are for new beginnings and planting seeds so it's all about manifesting and dreaming and full moon is the peak fruition letting go so it's about things coming to fruition but also kind of letting things go and some people use them kind of as the same thing or whatever calls to them so it's whatever you really want to do if you only follow the new moon and the full moon and you don't follow the signs in it, you can just ignore that. But otherwise, I do like seeing the sign because it gives a little more insight of what that moon is. And then this is the next one in February. So I'm going to actually skip around to see if there's any other things. Okay, this was in the way back and I honestly don't know what it is. But it looks fascinating. <laughs> So it goes for every single month. And then there's just some note sections here. Which I might use for different things. There's one thing I wanted to do in a planner that I was going to write. And I might do it there. But I also might do it here in these note pages. I haven't decided. I, I can use this for that exercise. The exercise is to write a letter to yourself a year from now as everything that you did during the year already came true and you're telling yourself about it. So manifestation kind of visualization type of exercise. And I'm going to do that. I just need to figure out where I want to put it. And if I put it in two places, that's fine. That's cute. Kind of, kind of put a little random thing in the middle of this note page. Love is the answer. It's cute. Others can guide the way, but only you hold the key to your own unique magic. And that is so true. 
you can always have somebody help you guide you but only you really know the truth for your life So in the most part, I'm going to be using this as kind of my weekly planner. I have my power sheets as my goal setting planner. And this is just not used as often. This is more like a monthly, quarterly type of thing with a, a few planning tools to get some daily stuff done that I will transfer to here. And then this one, I've had this journal for a while and I've never used it, but I want to use this as an a type of journal. I have a spread here. Don't know if I like it yet, but it's the one I'm going to try out. This is literally a spread idea, so it's all messy, but I want to kind of track my meditation, my exercise, uh, my gratitude. I'm going to write gratitude, intention, self-development, and tarot of the day. Now, this journaling morning and evening, I know it's very small. I journal more than this. Um, however, this is going to be like quick thoughts, quick thoughts. And then to journal more, if I need to work through something, I have just a notebook for that. I don't do anything fancy there. I just literally have a notebook. But the reason for this is I want to be a little more mindful of what I'm doing and what I'm keeping track of. And then I will also have, it's kind of like... <laughs> My little adventure into almost having a bullet journal but not quite because I'm also going to plan to have some spreads like in the beginning of the month I'm going to do um like this one over here it's a menstrual cycle tracker with a moon phase tracker I want both of them there um but I also want to keep track of my mood and how that changes over the month so I'm looking into different circle type things I can do for that and see how that works and then also just like a, a monthly uh, spread of like what meditation I'm doing that month, what exercise am I doing that month, etc. So if I get around to that at any point of my life before <laughs> January, I will show you what I'm working with that. But yeah, so these would be my, my main three. And my power sheets, my magic of eye, and just a regular planner that... I bought a long time ago and I never used it, so I figured I should use it. And eventually I probably will get like a nicer like bullet journal type planner. But without spending more money on something I didn't particularly need, I thought I would just use this because I had it on hand. But yeah, if you have any questions based on any of the pages you saw here or still any questions about the power sheets, just let me know. I would love to help and answer any questions you may have. And the next video you will see is most likely going to be a Sip Spy video because I should be getting my box soon and there is chocolate Earl Grey in it and I'm super excited about it. But yeah, have a good one. Bye!